Hi everyone, uh, today I'm talking about the different tools that I've added to this monster. Um, it's not released yet, but this is uh, an introduction of those new tools uh, that I want to talk about. So I will open the monster menu over here and load the training scenes. I will keep this menu open, uh, the game content one, not this one. And so here I have the different uh, new scenes that are related to the new futures. So the first one will be uh, the, the latest one I've worked on. And the second one, the Edge Boundary Project and Fuse, is a complementary uh, tool for it. It perfectly works with uh, the small Venom uh, kit also. So let's go and open this first. Here we have uh, two different meshes, right? If I go to the shading mode, we have two different elements. And even this one is made of different islands of polygons, right? There are, not, there are no connection in between and it's perfectly floating over the surface. Same thing for this one, right? Okay, so now what I want to do over here is that we already have some vertex normal data on this, the first mesh and the background mesh, the square one over here. But what we want to do is probably getting some better uh, smooth connection between the two, even if they are completely disconnected. Uh, so I will select the object uh, and the edge boundary of this area by double clicking and I will right click and in the edge context uh, menu, you have this uh, new uh, command over here that lets you transfer the vertex normal from the background um, object with a mouse over. So you just click here and as I have my mouse over this area, I can transfer the data of the vertex normal onto those points. So those points are just um, locked um, automatically, but it's up to you uh, to just remove the lock. It's just preventing you that, okay, if you have decided that you want to um, move or edit something in the mesh, they will not be changed at all. So it's one convenient way to lock things, but as soon as you save the scene and reopen it, it didn't uh, preserve those, okay? It's just for editing purpose um, on the fly. So here I would just press the key uh, 2 to go to the edge and press I to remove the lock. So as you can see now, if I hide the wireframe, there is a perfect blend between the two. It's totally fine. And when you have some elements like metallic uh, mechanical uh, parts in mesh with paint over paint over um, layout of uh, paint uh, over those areas or even when you have some merging um, uh, elements over there with with other metals uh, it can create this kind of shape right it's much more softer uh, than uh, a typical art surface uh, sh shape and so you can do this uh, from one mesh to another, but you can also do this uh, even with uh, a single mesh. So inside this single mesh, we have this part that is completely free and not connected to the rest of the mesh. And I will select the edges over here. And same thing, I will just open the menu and with the mouse over about this surface, I will get the vertex normal data from this area and project it and transfer it to those points. So same thing, if I press I, you see that now we have everything connected, even if that's just a floating uh, element. The next command is the edge boundary project and fuse. So this one is interesting uh, also. I worked on uh, a model that have many pipes and, and grade uh, over, over the, the mesh. Um, and I was in this situation where you want to 
as I said, uh, create some kind of a fusion between two different elements, even, even if they are uh, disconnected, right? And so here we have this background mesh and this working model over here. They are um, connected as um, parent and child in order to at least uh, get the same rotation and the same orientation for both of those. Uh, if you are working with vertex normal, you should get the same vertex normal on two different objects that you want to fuse, right? Uh, if not, you will get different issues. Without further ado, I will just showcase also this little command that can unsqueeze those kind of uh, edge boundaries that are um, set this way. So you can right click and straighten edge boundary and it just uh, flattened those uh, in a correct way. So the project in Fuse is really simple. You select, uh, double click and select the edge boundary. And when you are uh, mousing over the edge, you will open the same kind of menu, not for the vertex, sorry. I will mouse over the edge. And here you have a project and Fuse. So I will select the project and fuse one centimeter. This is just a base of presets. You can totally create your home uh, or I will add some, some more. And when you click here, it just project the edge boundary till it encounter some surface, right? So the background object is the surface that is the constraint one and here we see that we have, I will show back the wireframe, we have an, a sort of a, an edge uh, chamfer created uh, on this surface. So it creates some kind of a floating or so connection in between. And if I remove the wireframe, you see it creates some nice uh, representation of the connection between the two. Um, one thing that is interesting also with this uh, function the product infuse is that under the game content uh, options you have those two uh, those two settings over there that define the chamfer edge by unit you want so actually i'm just using zero it's just one edge count and it also project and fuse the, and transfer the vertex normal data from the background mesh so if for instance i will do this over the next one and i will select the edge uh, boundary and un uncheck this one and probably do this uh, with four edge counts for the edge chamfer. And if I do this again, this time with one centimeter, you see there's no connection, uh, I mean, no smooth transition between this shape over there and the background one. So in order to fix this, um, I've added this function, but also, of course, you can still select those um, edge boundary and same thing, use the transfer vertex normal uh, to make the, 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 the connection in between. But as this one have multiple um, edge counts over there, as you can see, there's four actually. Um, I have probably to reset the vertex normal uh, data. So I will select those um, polygons and reset the vertex normal data. And then I can probably select the edge boundary and do this again to transfer the vertex normal data from the mouse over, over this surface. And as you can see, it's perfectly fine now. Okay. So you have this and of course, uh, what is great with this is that it also works uh, with um, multiple um, selection. So for instance, I will just um, reload the scene. I will unsqueeze this one. Maybe it, it can hold this one uh, as well. So I will just let it uh, this way double clicking to select the edge boundary. Now we have four edge boundaries selected and I will also enable back the project and fuse and go back to zero. 
And now, uh, even if you use the product and fuse, you will see that it works as well with multiple selections. So now, not this one, I'm missing the right command. Okay, so now that's this one. Project and fuse one centimeter. And tada, you have the product and fuse uh, done with transferred uh, vertex normal data on the edge boundary. So this is really fine. And I use this um, on, the, on my current model I'm working on. Um, a troller boat um, that you can see also on my blog. It's part of a project we are developing at Xtriple and I'm happy to um, uh, bring those uh, type of commands uh, to uh, those monster uh, kits. I think it's, uh, it's a good addition to your uh, workflow when you are doing some game art um, elements. So let me know uh, what you think about those and see you. See you next time. Bye-bye.